I'm Larry Catalano, principal at Cooper's Elementary School, and I'd like to introduce you to one of Cooper's best kept secrets. We have instituted a sensory room. Welcome to Chillville. Chillville is our interpretation of a multisensory environment. Multisensory environments are beneficial for all students, especially those with sensory or emotional needs. Around the room, you'll see different stations, and these stations are meant to engage a child in their environment, um, calm a child, and also to stimulate a child. When we first developed this room, we had our classroom designated for our children with autism in the forefront of our minds. Um, children with autism have certain sensory needs, but so do our regular education students as well. Um, our stressed out learners, our kids that are going through a rough time in their life, all of these different students can use this space at one time or another to calm themselves. All of our related service professionals have found this room to be beneficial from occupational therapy, physical therapy, speech language therapy, our counselors, as well as our hearing and vision specialists. This is a space that they can come to help with language development, be it the phonological awareness with our we call it our alphabet soup, the sensory beans with the letters in there, or turn taking with children, hand eye coordination for our occupational and physical therapist, our music center for our hearing specialist, and then for our vision specialist, it's just a quiet space for them to come. Like a teacher or, so, or a grown up will come in here with me, and they'll help me calm down when I'm in here. And that's how it helps me. We have found that when you come into this room, we're able to take the child who is in the forefront of a tantrum, getting ready to have a meltdown, and we could change and kind of mold that behavior that where we can now have a, a, an opportunity to, to communicate with them. We open up those lines of communication. They immediately start calming. And that's what this room, the purpose of this room is, is therapeutic. It is to be used for uh, sensory needs, and it's also to be used for um, our regular education students who need a soft place to land. This room is used for that for a variety of students. This room is also beneficial in increasing instructional time for many of our students who are on a modified day. Instead of sending them home at lunch, they can come into the sensory room and have a, ch a chance to decompress, calm, regain composure before returning to the education classroom. They are able to um, use this room as a time to stay on campus, which is of course what our number one goal is, to keep them at school as long as possible and when they can be learning in the classroom. So we've used this room to increase our instructional time for many of our students. On behalf of the staff and students here at Cooper's Elementary School, thank you for taking this journey with us to Chillville. And I would like to invite you to join us anytime you're feeling stressed, anxious, or just need to decompress to come to Chillville and enter our sensory room. On behalf of NRMPS TV, this is Larry Catalano saying thank you very much. Hello, I'm Gary Major, principal of Parker Middle School. Today I would like to share with you our best kept secret, our iMovie and how we're using it to enhance student learning. Well it began as a result of um, the teachers desiring to have a student driven um, lesson, project based um, learning environment and um, the digital um, medium allows us to do that. It allows the children to um, become more creative, um, assist them with problem solving, and those types of things. So this is what was needed. So as a result of that, we ended up um, using more iMovie project-based lessons. The way I implement the iMovie is in the classroom. First, I have to set a goal. And I have to explain to the children what I'm looking for in, at the end, the end result of it all. And then we break them up into projects each day. They have to complete um, different segments um, to, to get each part accomplished. So I give them questions to answer. Um, we break them up into groups and they have to work collaboratively <laughs> um, with each other. <laughs> and. Um, um, define their roles when they get into their groups so that they'll understand who is doing what. Collaboration is very important and it's a skill that we have to teach our children. Um, they have to learn to work in teams because this is a 21st century skill 
that has to be learned. And um, working with our movies assists with them with working in teams. And so they um, uh, learn to identify each other's role so that they can fulfill their responsibility, bring that to the table effectively, and then uh, work together to try to, you know, put the whole together. The students have become more, uh, they've become better at problem solving. Um, they have to work together to solve the problems and they're creative with solving the problems. And I, I sort of look at it like um, becoming engineers. They've become engineers in, in their own sense. Um, they identify a problem and they solve it. And they have to use their um, writing skills, their reading um, skills. Um, they have to learn to work together and um, work in teams. And so these are the types of things that, that I've seen in the children as they have um, gotten into the iMovies. Thank you for joining me. I am Gary Major for NRMPS-TV at Parker Middle School. Have a great day. Thank you.